Hello, people. Can you see these images? They are all generated using Dreamboot model. Look, Jindia is doing dishes, eating corn, eating mango, eating chicken, eating ice cream, playing flute, meta. So I downloaded few images from internet and train Dreamboot model. So these are the images I downloaded from internet. I will show how to download images, how to resize it, and how to train an inference model all in this single video. A stable or uh, diffusion model can be fine-tuned on your faces using Dream Booth. So you can get super or natural high or realistic AI generated image of yourself using dream booth so let's get started now we will be downloading high resolution image of Zendaya and resizing them to 5 table by 5 table resolution let's uh, get started Firstly, uh, let's search on internet high resolution image of uh, Zendia. We will uh, use those images for training our dream booth model. Make sure the images you downloaded are high resolution and have a single person on it without occlusion and this should be properly aligned in forward direction uh, this will ensure that we will get very good result with stable diffusion model I have uh, downloaded 22 images of the subject. Now uh, I am going to resize and rescale it to swipe to build by swipe to build. Uh, I will use this website. I will put the link in the description below. Actually, a uh, stable diffusion model expect input images to be 5 tubular by 5 tubular resolution. So we need to resize it. We just need to set a width and height to 5 tubular and 5 tubular, and it will automatically put default bounding box over the images you just need to adjust it so that this will be properly aligned now we can click on save as zip and you will get zip file containing all the resized images Now we are going to train the dream with model. Uh, I will put the link of this Google collab in the description below. Uh, you just uh, need to change our uh, runtime to GPU. Uh, I have a Google collab pro so I can select higher RAM. Uh, if 
you have normal version of Google Colab or uh, you can just leave it as it is now uh, let's uh, install requirements it will take some time and then uh, I need to connect it to Google Drive after connecting it to Google Drive we can save our trend model in our drive and we can use it later for inference here my uh, weight will be stored inside stable diffusion weights slash dgg for training you need to create concept list uh, it's you can see here I am changing class data directory and instance data directory and class name and subject name then uh, you need to upload your training images For training, you would just need to change a save sample prompt and concept list. Uh, here I change sample prompt to photo of GGG person and I put path of concept list that we created earlier. Uh, you can leave other parameters like learning rate, pre-terminal path and everything as it is. If you are not getting a good result, you can change a learning rate and training steps. It will uh, definitely uh, improve your uh, quality of image. I have Google Collab Pro so it will take around two to three minutes for me uh, if you are using normal um, version of google collab it might take around 10 to 15 minutes so you have to wait for a while uh, after training uh, you need to uh, save the model uh, you can just uh, put blank in the weight directory. Now we are going to generate a few samples. Uh, before that, uh, we need to uh, store the CKPT file into our Google Drive, which we will be using later for automatic 11.11. Now we are uh, running inference. So this uh, basically load the model. You can just uh, leave the seed as it is. Uh, here uh, you can play with the prompt here. I put a photo of GGG person eating ice cream. Uh, now look at the results. Isn't it amazing? Uh, you can see subject is holding ice cream. It looks a little bit weird. But uh, you can definitely improve results by giving negative prompt. Uh, after training, our model has been saved inside our Google Drive. Uh, as you can see in the screen, uh, it's 
stored inside stable diffusion weights cell as ggg cell as 800 uh, later uh, we will move this weight to automatic 11 11 directory and now uh, let's set up automatic 11 11 for inference first you need to connect it to google drive and then uh, install and uh, set up all the requirements i need to run all the options available there after setup uh, you can see a uh, graphical user interface is shown in screen a uh, setup will take around 10 to 15 minutes uh, depending upon your network speed and available ram now uh, let's see how we can move our model from uh, dream boot to uh, automatic 11 11 Uh, now uh, we will uh, move this uh, model.cpt uh, to web UI so go inside ESD stable diffusion EU web UI then models then stable diffusion and you can move it here Uh, you can uh, rename the model as you want so I am renaming it to model underscore ggg so after uh, starting stable diffusion uh, we will get this gradio of uh, urm so opening on it uh, you can see nice web interface uh, you can load your model there in the top uh, as you can see i already loaded a uh, ggg model.ckpt when you click uh, this uh, drop down menu uh, you will see all the available models now uh, you have to put a positive and a negative prompt there and after clicking on generate it will uh, generate photo realistic image of our subject I'll look at the detail isn't it cool yeah it looks cool now let's try a different prompt of photo of ggg in iron Man avatar let's say Yeah, looks good. Giving a prompt is very tricky part. So you need to be careful about your prompt. Yeah, this uh, looks good too. Now let's try out of the box prompt like drinking tea in Pakistan. 
Sí. Jindia is drinking tea. Now drinking tea and drinking in Nepal. Man, uh, look at it. Wow, it looks so good. Uh -huh. uh, that's it, uh, guys. Uh, we can play with a different front and generate variant of images. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.